Hi, it's Galaxy Bunny here. Thank you so much for joining this video. This is what's on my iPhone 11 Pro. Let's jump right into it. Here's to you. Okay, well, first off, let me go ahead and tell you guys just what my phone looks and also how many gigs it has. I inevitably got the midnight green. That's just what the phone looks like, just so you can get a better look at it. And it is the 64 gig model. This is what my case looks like. It's like, it's got like a little frosted back on it. It looks kind of clear, but I assure you it's kind of frosted. And I have a pot socket just so it's easy for me to take selfies and watch videos while I'm on break. This is how my screen looks. This is my lock screen. I pretty much just have an illustration of flowers and bees on it. This is my home screen. It's pretty much just black with illustrations of some herbs and flowers on it. Got them both at Etsy, not Etsy, um, on Pinterest. Both illustration um, wallpapers. So let me go ahead and start from the bottom. On the bottom, I just have all my important apps, which are my phone app, my browser, which is Ecosia. I like the idea that for every 45 searches, you plant a tree. I figured that if I'm going to be searching up stuff, I might as well be doing something for the good of the environment. Right next to that, I have the text message app. And right next to that, I have the camera app use them all the time at least once a day and right on top I have find my iPhone and then next to that I have FaceTime next to FaceTime I have the folder called time I have the clock and calendar in that folder I have photos um, so on the second row I have mail maps and weather and right next to that i have the productivity folder i have files notes reminders i use reminders more than i did last year so awesome because i tend to forget stuff when i get out of work and then i have news i don't particularly enjoy looking at the news all too often because that puts me on edge and Recently, with all that's been going on, it's been giving me a lot of stress and anxiety. And next to that, I have pictured this. I have gone into plants and I figured that if I want to take care of my plants, I should probably get something that can educate me on how to take care of my plants. And next to that, I have Chrome. So I have Chrome in case I need to find a certain store near me. So I doubt that Nicosia would be able to help me out there. And then I have utilities. I don't really use these really. And then next to that I have my financial stuff. Um, I have my bank, my Wells Fargo app. Uh, that's where I check to see what my balance is. I transfer money. Uh, to other accounts and then I also have the drive safe and save app as well um, Below that I have a calculator when I need to um, That is if I need to calculate my expenses and stuff like that that way I'm able to um, Spend my money on some luxury items and then right next to the Wells Fargo app. I have the wallet app. I have um, Apple Pay because I very frequently forget my wallet at home. <laughs> I know that's not great, but it's useful. And then below that I have the Cash app. My sister sends money to me that way. I don't know why, but that's just her preference. So I end up 
I ended up ha I mean, getting it because of that. Um, I don't really use the Apple Store. I have the App Store. I have Etsy right below the App Store. And I have recently been buying a lot of stuff on Etsy. I think it's called Zero Waste Items, such as reusable um, sanitary pads. I've been also ordering some um, utensils on there as well that I can take to work. And uh, what's another recent one? I also bought a, I bought like a pouch for my, um, for my uh, metal straws. So that's been really useful. And then I had the iTunes store. Um, I don't really use that really. And then I have the AliExpress app. I used it to buy my stationary stuff from there. And then I have the Fujifilm kiosk app because um, recently I've bought some prints that I've downloaded to my phone so that I'm able to decorate my room with and pretty soon I'm thinking of doing a room tour this year I just don't know when exactly because I still have to I still need to put together some stuff for this room because I feel like it's not complete yet and then right next to that I have settings we all know what settings has really and then right next to that I have the health uh, folder this is where I put all the stuff that's health related and um, including the Apple Watch app I don't really have an Apple Watch because I have a Galaxy Watch because I at one point used to have the Galaxy S10e but I ended up just absolutely hating it and then next to the Apple Watch um, app I have the UC Health that is a clinic that I've been going to recently so um, I downloaded this app so I'm able to make appointments and or cancel them and I think about a month ago I had a virtual visit so I used that to attend my visit and below that I have the Galaxy Watch I uh, don't really use my watch with this phone because it's hard for me to get them both to um, to get them both to like pair. I don't know why. I, it, it's just not letting me. And then next to that I have the Headspace app. Um, like I've been telling you, um, I've been having, I struggle with depression and anxiety. And all that's been going on with um, this whole COVID-19 thing as well as um, this whole like uh, movement, uh, these protests. It's just been affecting my mental health. So I ended up getting this app for that and it's been working very well so far. And then under all that, I have the Apple apps that come with my phone. So I just put them all in there. Um, and then next to that, I have all my social media accounts and that's where I've been putting them. <sighs> I don't really use I don't use Snapchat to post stuff, so yeah, this is this is uh, my my username. So in case you guys are interested in following me, there you guys go. And then I'm not gonna try to open Facebook. I like to have that part private. And then so um, I also like to keep my messenger private as well since it is after all related to Facebook and then I have Instagram I don't really post much here either so yeah <laughs> and I have Twitter I don't like coming here either because of the recent stuff as well and Pinterest, this is where I've been getting my wallpapers from. I love inspo. And then I do like to read. I love reading. And I enjoy reading comic books as well. So this is where I keep my my Nook um, app because I do have a Nook tablet, my Marvel app as well. I do keep a lot of my comic books here. And then I have the Apple Books app that come with your phone already. And then I just slapped the podcast app on there as well and um, right next to that since um, it is considered under entertainment I have um, the Disney Plus app oh my gosh I enjoy watching Disney movies or shows um, and then I've been watching a lot of like 
um, Marvel stuff on there as well. And then I have the Apple Music app on there as well. Not that I'm on this thing, I should probably put the Music Center and the um, Fiesta, Fiesta, Fiesta Bowl? Fiesta Bowl app under there too, might as well. The, these are apps that I, I use for my Bluetooth speaker, so yeah. It's like to control like the lighting um, and the ambiance of, you know, like the, the speaker. And so right below that I have the photo and video editing apps. Self-explanatory, really. Um, yep. And then games, my boyfriend downloaded Stardew Valley and right next to that I do play Animal Crossing, hence why I have the Animal Guide app. And this is just helpful for me to find all like the fake paintings from the game. So that is super useful. And then you also have all the um, different villagers of the game. So yeah. Enter interesting stuff. And that is what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys have enjoyed my video and um, I hope something may have inspired you to put on your phone. I don't know. But um, thank you all for watching again and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or a fantastic night and I will see you guys in the next time. Thank you. Bye.